Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Today I am planning to show you that what is wrong in my car because there is now this engine file code on and now when I start my e engine normally this engine file code goes away but now it's still in there and there is a door door warning light also but now it's shut down but this this is bad and now I have situation that I visited in this Toyota dealership center and they took this uh, faulty code in this my car's computer and there is now issue what number is P and 0300 like like co faulty code 300 P0300 and that means that that now I have some some this this is uh, this uh, ignition uh, area error and there are some some those uh, sparking and ignition coil issues and that means now that that I I have some issues in my ignition coil and that means that I I need to replace those my ignition coils and maybe only one or ten more but but now there is situation that if we have this faulty code P300 it it means that we have some electrical issues in our our this uh, this sparking sparking system what generates those sparks in our spark plugs and there is those ignition ignition coils and now there is issue and now I need to next replace those my ignition coils and firstly I start to replace this my and I am planning to remove this my error code so that I replace only one ignition coil and then I test that how this my engine works because now this engine is working uh, quite normally but there is this error code okay and then we go to engine area replace those ignition coils okay and then when I am repairing this uh, engine file record this 300 like it is P0300 first step is that I need to take this cover out and for that job I need 10 mm socket. Here I have 10 mm tool and I insert that here and then a little bit better view and then I open these bolts and there is a second. Then I take these bolts. There's the first one and two 10 millimeter bolts and actually nuts. And then, then I can take this plastic cover away and now when we have this issue 300 it means that in these areas these electric cables in here or these coils some some areas in here we have issue because this 300 faulty code it controls that spark plug wires and cables lines and that means that next I need to open all of those this wire connectors and then I need to also check every of these coils that what of those coils is is broken and that's needs need means so that that when I test that first cylinder 
it happens so that first I open this connector that press in, press in here and then I lift up and then then I need to go to check that is there any corrosion and it's my next stop task and this corrosion corrosion it could be in here inside in there, there is those two cable slots we need to check that is there anything and this one looks quite good but we can insert in there this spray this uh, spray what removes corrosion and then we need to check also that that connector that this looks good and then I need to take that ignition coil out and for that I need again 10 mm socket and then my tool and I take that next out take my tool there's my tool and then, then I open then I open this my bolt and and now now I can lift that coil out and now if I think that in that coil there could be some defects or errors I need to now have new coil that I can insert that in here if, if I like to test that is this issue in here in this coil or then in this cables and that's I go to take next new coil what I have purchased okay and here is this my new coil and this coil is not original this is like aftermarket coil because there is text that premi and this is not original. We can see that in the original part there is text in here like in that one but in this is like the aftermarket part. And then I need to install this my, my coil in that slot in that way that way and then I connect these cables in here and then then I need to of course insert this bolt in back also in there and then I can go to test that my my coil that how my engine works is this okay or not and and if everything looks good I need to reset finally my faulty code and it happens so that there is my battery and I need to take this my minus cable off and I go to do that next okay and there is this my battery and next I take this minus cable out that I can reset my warning light away in my car's dashboard and for that job we need 10 millimeter friends then I open this bolt and then I take this minus cable out and then I need to wait something like one minute that this this car's electric computer is empty because now if when there is no any electricity then this system automatically reset reset itself okay and and now when I am I am planning to test this this engine file or code P300 if if there is still when I start my engine if there is still some issue in in this dashboard then I need to do same thing in this cylinder 2 and cylinder 3 and cylinder 4 and 
and all, of course all of those replays I need to reset finally and when we have made that everything should be fine but if still there are some issues then we need to check these electric cables and this is a little bit bigger job but th then I can guarantee that this engine file record P0300 is away okay and that kind of information and have a nice day to you